All right, my friends, today we're putting the straightest ball in the world to the test. Let's go. All right, uh, I've got the, you've, you've seen these before. This is the straightest ball in the world, they say. Whatever, we're out at the beautiful Atlanta National Golf Course here in North Georgia. It's part of the Club Corp family of golf courses. So if you're looking for membership options, here or anywhere across the country, check out the link in the video description below and have at it, all right? Here we go. These are the uh, Polera Ultimate Straight Golf Balls. They claim to be 75% self-correcting. What the heck does that mean? So we're gonna put these to the test here on course, okay? I'm gonna put them up against the, uh, the brand new Pro V1X golf ball. So is it straighter? I don't know, we'll find out. Is it longer? Doubt it, we'll see, whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on with this. It has a line. And what you do is you line that line up where you want to aim. And then it'll fly perfectly straight. I'm gonna test it out with, see if it's any better than the Pro V1, straighter, whatever. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it home, put it in the simulator. I'll give you a few numbers to look at. Then we're gonna cut this sucker open, see what it looks like. Why is it so straight? We'll find out. Here we go, tee it up. Uh, that did go straight. It didn't curve at all, did it? No, it went perfectly straight. All right. Okay, good news is it, it did go really straight. I'm pretty surprised. It went nowhere, like no distance. Although it is like 34 degrees Fahrenheit out, it's freezing cold. It's like zero degrees Celsius, uh, rough one degree maybe. I don't know, whatever. Um, so, but I, I'm in the fairway. Got a long way to go. The, um, the line now is situated like this. So down there, it's like that. So you can't move it at this point, obviously. So I don't know how it's gonna affect the ball flight. It's messing with my mind, that's for sure. I just picked up my Pro V1. It, this did go farther, so uh, we'll see on the we'll see on the next tee box how that holds up. All right, good news. I found the bunker, so we'll test out the feel around the green with the uh, Polara straight ball, and I'll also hit the uh, Pro V out of here. We'll see what happens. Okay, one of the benefits they say with the pure straight is that it will roll more pure on the putting greens too with that line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one with my Pro V1X lined up and then the straight Polera lined up and we'll see which one uh, performs best, if you can even tell. But you could see on the dimple pattern on Polera, uh, there are different style of dimples near the line as opposed to farther away from the line. So it gets, you get a shallower dimple the closer to the center. Isn't that weird? All right, good news and bad news. The, um, I had 174 to the flag. I hit a six iron, it's cold out here. The ball doesn't really go anywhere. That's normally my 180 club. And it went about 195, it rolled over the back of the green. So you get, you get good distance. I don't hate that. All right, so 
we're at the par three, uh, 12th hole here at Atlanta National. I got 217 to the flag, 185 to carry the water. I'm going four iron. I'm gonna hit three straight balls. See what happens. In the water, first one. That ball did a little self-correct. Like it started here and, and it zipped back over to the left, but it also kind of dived down. It, it looks like it went, ooh. Very strange, all right. I did the same thing. Water ball. Okay, I just hit all three in the water. I hit them all pretty good, and they all did a little redirect in midair. All right, we're doing Pro V1X just to see if it's me. Okay, the Pro V1X was pure. It carried the water, it's on the green. The Polara, I'll, I'll hit two more, why not? Three of them went in the water. One Pro V1X went over the water, it's a good shot. <laughs> That's five of these dang balls went in the water, I hit them all good. Um, okay, here, here's the deal. My ball, the Pro V landed right here, and then we paced it off, and we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then, let's see, eight, nine, 10, 11. I have my three fallen soldiers are right here. Those are the Polaris, you could tell. Uh, and the other two are a little over there. That was what, 11 yard difference in carry. So we noticed that as it's self-corrected, it dives down and you lose distance. It, and it always self-corrects a little bit, unless you're like Mr. Perfect and hit it perfectly straight, then I, it wouldn't self-correct. But there's always gonna be some self, it does self-correct, <laughs> but you lose a little bit of flight time when it does that. Now let's go check it out in studio and see what we're talking about and then we'll cut these puppies open. Let's go. All right, here we go. We're in the studio, what we're gonna do is Hit these on the track, man, and see what type of numbers we get. I'm all warmed up, ready to rock and roll. I'm going to line the line up right where I'm aiming and see if it, see what numbers we get. Track, man, I'll hit a bunch of balls and we'll go from there. I will say this, the self-correcting mode freaked me out on the golf course. It totally self-corrects. Did not expect that. It did. All right, here we go. First one out of the gate. All right, sliced a little. Okay, interesting uh, what I just did. And le let me show you. Okay, here's what I did. Um, I, I lined up the line and I hit a bunch of shots. This is what I hit. Average carry 247, uh, average distance 277, average spin rate 244 or 2448, uh, smash factors 1.5, 91 height average. Okay, that's with the line lined up. I also just randomly sit, set the ball down there and hit some shots just to compare. So this is with the line, here's random. 258 carry, 283, 20 spin rate about the same, smash factors the same, higher ball flight, more distance. Okay, so using the line, I got less distance than with just randomly placing the ball. And I did notice on course with the line, it did shoot the ball and re-navigate it in midair, which affected its flight pattern, therefore causing it to drop out of the air. Without it, like from the fairway, that type of thing, it was more of a normal ball flight. That's good. Let's cut this open and see what's inside this puppy. This is the new Pro V1. 
did a video on that and this is the new Pro V1X. It looks nothing like these two things. These are a three piece and a four piece ball. Here is the Titleist Velocity and the Polara Straight Line. Ultimate Straight. Velocity, Polara. Very, very similar. There's one it's even more similar to. I'm gonna show it to you right now. This is the Shrixon Star Tour versus the Polara. Look at that. I mean, it's almost Shrixon Polara. It's almost identical. Okay, you could put them side by side and you'd be good to go. The Polara just has a interesting dimple pattern. That's the cause of the flying situation. Don't like it. I would say, look, uh, it does self-correct. If you want a, a good time out there just to goof around, give it a try. Give it a try. Uh, might be cool to, to watch that thing re-navigate. Don't try to carry any waters or bunkers or anything like that. That'll get you in trouble. Uh, but if you just kind of want it to go straight, sort of, mm, give it a try. Otherwise, I'd stay away. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.